Hey guys, welcome to another lunch time review. Today I've got another one of these Nutrisystem meals. This is your a whole daily meal in one box. This one particular one is um, it's a number sixteen, so that's the that's the meal choice it is. So we have homestyle pancakes, a grilled chicken sandwich, chicken alf al chicken fettuccine alfredo, and then an ice cream sandwich for your snack. Uh, there's kind of what they look like. Let me show you the rest of the box. That was the top. Here's the side. Here's another side, and it kind of talks about um, the things you can eat, adding stuff to it. And it seems to be the Nutrisystem, they want you to eat pretty much all day long, um, regularly. So, and there are a couple diets like that, but theirs is one of them. And there's some other stuff you can get. Um, okay, on to the bottom. So we have uh, the calories. And then we've got other, other information there. So the um, Homestyle Pancakes are 160 calories. So that's not bad. That's, uh, I ate those peanut bars. Those are about 160 calories every morning anyway. So that's about on track with calories. Um, grilled Chicken Sandwiches is 200 calories. That's not bad. You can still add an orange and fruit and stuff to that. So that's good. Um, the Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo is 230. So that's still really low. And um, um, that'll be good. You can still add um, some things to that too. Then the little ice cream sandwich is 130 calories, so so you can add stuff to that. Or nothing you can add. That is your. That would be a good snack, is what I was going to say. Okay, I did cut the tape open. By the way, we bought these at Meyer. Meyer is the only place we've seen these so far. They were 14.99 at Meyer, so um, so you get all day long. Um, whether they're good or not, we'll see. But you do get all day long. Uh, this is just an ad for their Light West program and their foods. So, let's pull this out. We've got two the pancakes, and literally they are just two pancakes. There's no syrup, there's no bananas, there's nothing like that in there. It's just two little frozen pancakes. And then um, we've got this reference card too of things to add. There's the, um, the men's meal plan, and then you've got the women's meal plan is on the back. So, for the men, you're supposed to add... I like um, you're supposed to have the pancakes, but you're supposed to add a, um, one cup of low-fat yogurt. And for the AM snack, you're supposed to have uh, some kind of shake or muffin and stuff like that. So anyway, I don't necessarily follow that. I'm just saying that's that's what they want you to do. So there's the pancakes for breakfast. Here is the chicken sandwich for lunch. And it's, it's pretty small. It's not very big. It's 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 that big around. So anyway, it's not a huge sandwich. So we'll we'll see how how filling that is. Um, then you've got your dinner, which the dinner feels pretty heavy. Um, it feels like you're actually getting a little bit of food there, but it looks like it's a lot of pasta from the picture at least. So you get your chicken alfredo, and then you have your, your ice cream sandwich, which I swear to you is about the same size as the chicken sandwich. It's a little bit thinner, but not by much. It's a, it's a little thinner than the chicken sandwich, but not a whole lot. So anyway, so this is your whole meal. So this is the night before. I just wanted to show you kind of everything in the box. And it's hard to do this in the morning. But in the morning, before I go to work, I'm actually going to heat these up. I'm assuming you're doing them in the toaster oven. On the toaster, I mean. Yeah, he's making the toaster. So that's what I'll be doing in the morning. So uh, for you, it'll be just a second. And for me, it'll be in the next morning. Okay, it's breakfast time, so I'm gonna have these home home style pancakes. This is the first meal in the in the kit. Fluffy whole grain pancakes with natural maple flavoring. So uh, maybe we'll have a little bit of a flavoring to them. 160 calories. 160 calories for the whole thing. Uh, I think it's pretty good. I imagine it has that much cholesterol in it, but um, yeah, who knows? Okay, so you can do it in the microwave. Um, I could do it in the microwave. Man, I hate to do these in the microwave, but um, forever. No, I'm gonna go ahead and do them in the toaster because uh, I think they'll be much better. And you might have a toaster at, at work. Um, it's possible. We've had we have a toaster at work, so you know why not? So you put them in the toaster. Um, let's see. You usually put them on the lowest setting, and you may have to do it twice. So uh, I'm gonna get these in the toaster, and I'll be back. I guess I can show you what they look like, huh? Um, that's what they look like, just a pancake. They look like they're actually made on a grill of some kind, probably an automated grill, see, a grill. There's some of that maple flavor, you can kind of see it in there. So now I'm gonna make my toaster. Hey, sorry it's a little dark, but it is 6.30 in the morning. Um, this is what they look like out of the microwave, I mean the, the toaster, the same. They are a little crisp on the, they do have a little crispy on the outside, so that's good. 
Um, they do have a little like uh, crystal little dark spots. I'm assuming that's the maple syrupy part. Um, that's what they look like on the inside. They look like a, a multigrain or a whole wheat um, pancake. So there you go. I didn't get any um, like maple flavor in that one. Hold on. They're not horrible. They're very bland. Um, they taste like, they don't even taste like a good pancake that you'd have without syrup, because I can eat a pancake without syrup if I needed to. Um, these are very, very plain. They're, um, they taste like just bread, honestly. Mm -mm. Yeah, these are these are better than the waffles, but they're still pretty plain. I mean, you could eat these, um, you know, just don't get too excited about them because they're nothing exciting. They're they're okay. They're edible. They're food. They'll fill you up uh, for the morning to get you going, but. There, um, it's not much. So, so anyway, I'll catch you back at lunch. Okay, lunch time. For lunch, they gave us a grilled cheese or grilled cheese grilled chicken sandwich. It's fully cooked flame broiled chicken breast patty on a whole grain bun, high in protein. Two hundred calories. There's the other information for you. Okay, we're going to microwave, remove from wrap, uh, wrap in a paper towel and heat on high for one minute. So just this for a minute. I, it off. I can smell a little bit of a, of a spice. It kind of smells like a, uh, uh, like a speedway kind of chicken sandwich. It smells like. okay, there it is. Not bad. It's a decent sized piece of chicken. So I'm gonna wrap this in paper towel and get the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, sat down to cool off. So here's the sandwich. Is it better? Um, no condiments, no cheese, no anything like that. So Chicken has a decent spice to it. Um, it's like a grilled marinated chicken. It's pretty good. Um, better than some of the other ones I've had from them. Um, it does have a decent flavor. It could use some, I don't know, you could put some mustard on there or something. It's, it's pretty, that's no calorie. Um, pretty good. This one's one I could recommend you try. Um, pretty decent low calorie. 200 calories, right? Yeah, 200 calories. It's kind of small, but um, but it's got some decent flavor. It's decent quality. Um, the chicken's pretty good. So this one's one I could recommend. So uh, the next thing you'll see is dinner. Oh, and I guess I should rate this one. Um, I didn't rate this morning. The morning, I'd probably give that one a two and a half maybe because it was edible. I did eat them all, but, um, but they were pretty plain. This one, I'm gonna give this one a good solid three. Uh, it's not the best chicken sandwich I've ever had, but for the calories, um, it's not too bad. So breakfast was a two and a half. This one's a three. Okay, here's my dinner. This one is the chicken fettuccine Alfredo. It's fettuccine and white meat chicken in an Alfredo sauce. Um, looks pretty decent. Let's see. 230 calories for the package. Um, sodium's really good. That's, that's a good, always a good thing. Protein's actually pretty good too. So, um, you can do it in the oven, but I'm always going to do it in the microwave. So, we remove the tray from the carton. We're going to place it on a microwave for, place it in the microwave for three minutes on high, and then stir things up, put the film back on, and cook for another minute to a minute and a half. I'll probably just do a minute and a half in this microwave because it's a little, it's not quite as hot as the one at work. And then let it sit for a minute, and then you're ready to go. So, three, stir, and then a minute and a half. So let's see what it looks like. It does have a pull tab, I just can't reach it with one hand. All right, there it is. Now it doesn't say anything about venting it. 
Nope, just says put it in there. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave and um, it's gonna stir it up. It did thicken up pretty good. And there's a couple good pieces of chicken in there. There's a big hunk. There's a pretty good sized piece. And there's some a couple smaller ones too. So it does have plenty of chicken. Not much uh, noodles, but plenty of chicken and plenty of salt. So I'm gonna let this cool off because you can see the steam coming off of it. And I'll be back. All right, here's the bite I'm gonna take. It's got chicken and noodles. That's all there is to it. And of course it's got sauce on it, but here we go. I can say the chicken is very, very tender, almost to the point of being too tender. Like it's not quite mushy, but it's very, it's very soft. Um, and chicken shouldn't be that soft. The noodles are okay, but I do have to say that the flavor is not very strong. The, you can taste the chicken. If, if I have a meal where I can actually taste, physically taste the chicken, there's not enough seasoning in it. Cause usually you get the chicken and something else. So you, really the chicken's kind of overpowered by the flavoring. Um, if you like chicken, you might really like this. Let me take one more bite. No, the pasta's okay. The, the it's it's cooked okay. It's it's right there on the edge of being too um, too overcooked or too cooked, but um, but it's right there on the edge. Let me try a bigger piece of chicken. That chicken is weird. It's like squishy, like. Uh, like a marshmallow. I mean, it's like, it's like mushy kind of, it's weird. Um, and the flavors just aren't there for this one. So this one, um, I'm probably going to give this one a two. It's really just not worth, uh, worth eating. Honestly, the, um, the flavors aren't there. Maybe if you were to add some like, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, some nature seasoning or some salt and pepper, uh, this might be better, but the texture of that chicken really throws me off. And I don't know, chicken shouldn't be that texture. It's like they've puffed it up with something weird. So anyway, I'm gonna give this one a two. Um, so the lunch was okay. The sandwich was pretty decent, but this this is not okay. Um, I wouldn't buy this at all. The uh, so I have one more little thing to do. That's the snack I'll eat tonight. That's the ice cream sandwich. So I'll be back in just a second for you, and um, and I'll I'll catch you then. All right, last item for in the box. This is the uh, ice cream sandwich. This is your snack for the night. It is low-fat vanilla ice cream sandwich between two uh, chocolate wafers. And this is, where's the calories for? Let me kind of flip it over. Those have two hands. I have somebody holding the camera for me. <laughs> okay, it's 130 calories, which isn't too bad for an ice cream sandwich, I guess. Um, Cholesterol is not bad. Sodium is not bad. Uh, carbs are a little high. Protein's good. So, so here we go. So here it is. Not too bad. A typical ice cream sandwich. It reminds me of the. Um, there's a couple of them out there that there are make ice cream sandwiches. This is about the same size as those. So here we go. The chocolate has a good chocolate flavor. It reminds you of a um, Skinny Cow makes um, an ice cream sandwich or like these. This flavor reminds me of that. You primarily taste this kind of like a devil's food chocolate with a little bit of a sweetness to it. And the ice cream really doesn't have a ton of flavor. It's there, it's cold, it's creamy, but as far as the over the top vanilla, it really doesn't, I mean, it has some flavor, not a lot. Um, for the entire day, this has probably been the best thing I've had. Um, this one I would still give a three. It's not something I would buy. I think I'd rather buy the Skinny Cows. I think they're probably comparable calorie-wise. Uh, they may be a little bit higher, but they're pretty close. And But they have a lot more flavor than this one. This one's good, but it's not as good as those. So overall, this meal had some ups and downs. The pancakes were kind of blah. I, were at a, I ended up eating them, and I, I stayed full until lunchtime. So it was pretty good pretty good filler, they just didn't have a lot of flavor to them. Um, lunch, the chicken sandwich was actually really good. I enjoyed that. Um, not something I would go out and buy like a regular basis, but but I wouldn't mind eating it again. Um, dinner was just plain, and but this ice cream sandwich was pretty good. So overall, I, I still don't know that I would buy it, honestly. I think I would still go buy other choices. There are better things, but, um, but if you're on Nutrisystem, this is one you could safely get and enjoy most of it.